I have such a bad sore throat, so this feels wonderful. I went to therapy today, amazing as always. I've seen the same therapist for 10 years. I was 17 when I first got diagnosed with OCD and general anxiety disorder. This is the second session I've had since my little stint of not going. And she just talked about a lot of things like with my chronic health issues, like I was saying. And just for anyone that suffers with anxiety, a lot of you probably know this, but if you're having anxiety, your fight or flight response is kicking in. It's sending chemicals like cortisol and adrenaline to get you to either run away or to fight. And it's not healthy for your body to just stay there. Because most of the time when that's happening, it's not necessary, you're not in danger. She said the best way to combat it is you have to get yourself back to a calm state. Do five, five, five breathing, which is you breathe in for five seconds, hold for five seconds, and let out for five. You get your fight or flight response down, your body realizes it's okay, and you just gotta try to keep getting yourself grounded. So things like meditation, anything that really reduces your stress, even when you're not stressed out especially, is so great because then your mind knows how to get into that calm state quicker rather than just staying in this anxious funk. My biggest problem is OCD over anything. I just get a thought, then it goes to the worst case scenario and then it cycles through and this is repetitive. If you're not in danger, those thoughts don't need to be there. Get yourself leveled out again. But you can always think worst case scenario. Like I'll think, okay, I reflex and everything, it's damaging myself so bad that I'm just gonna die. Like I'm just, it's just gonna swell up, I'm just gonna die. That's obviously not rational. But then my mind will spiral on that while I'm working and I'll just be in a constant state of like adrenaline. To stop the thought, you can't react to the thought. You just gotta accept that it's there, do your deep breathing, get back to work and just have a healthy distraction. Cause I notice I'm happiest when I'm spacing out on my phone or watching TV and it's because I'm completely not thinking about it. And that's why I feel better. So it's really about healthy distraction, not being afraid of what's causing you to feel anxious, accepting the feelings you have. I mean, going to therapy, if your thinking is off in some way, it just gets you back where you need to be. See, I'm a big stand for medication too, for antidepressants, love them. Say you have a super bad chemical imbalance, you go to therapy, it's only gonna get you down a little bit, but you're so off, it's gonna be hard to really learn and apply those things because you're just so out of it. And when you have the edge taken off from an antidepressant, then you can really focus on using those tools and getting it down even more. So if medicine isn't for you, that's fine. For anyone else going through a chronic illness, we also talked about this. There's a grieving process that you have. In order to get to a place of acceptance, accepting that and have to deal with this for eternity, there's a grieving process of letting go of your perfectly healthy self and just saying, okay, I can't live the way I used to, which sucks, but I need to get to a place of acceptance and just be thankful for the things I still can do and hopefully move on from there. Isn't this the hottest thing you've ever seen? Time to go pick up my mama from the airport. The day has come. I'm feeling better from whatever sickness I had with the sinus infection, so my symptoms have gone down. I just hurt my back at work today. So we'll see about that, but like I'm feeling better in a in the sense that I want to feel better, so. The house is clean. She's gonna be happy. I'm excited. I'm excited. I love my mama. Last for 30 seconds before you had to start cleaning. <laughs> well, that's their nice plan. I'm gonna bring this in, in the house. Is it dying? No, I'm gonna look at my wood deal and I'm gonna bring all these in to keep them over the winter. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So, yesterday I door dashed all day, 11 hours. I think I made 10 bucks an hour because the orders were that infrequent. So they do promos, right? Especially if they're opening up in a new location, they'll normally do like an extra $5 per order. So the orders I was getting, I'd maybe have to drive three miles and I'd be getting $10, but I'll get like one an hour and I drove so far. It was still fun. I just watched Hulu. I just relaxed. 
But now today, this is my second day off, and then I work the next five. I'm just gonna have a self-care day. Does anyone else feel extremely stuffed up in the morning? Because I'm always that way. Neti pots, if anyone has done a neti pot, that is the greatest thing you can do in the morning to clear you up. One thing I really need to work on is taking in more water. I have been doing better the past few days, but I don't know if it's just a thing where you just get used to not drinking water, so you just don't crave it. But like, I don't crave water that much. And I know that's a problem. I don't normally do all this stuff, but I'm just gonna go above and beyond. This is a self-care day. Alexa, play folk music. The station, Nella Folk, free on Amazon Music. Gotta put my scarf in here. has been incredibly relaxing. It's been nice to take care of myself, put myself first. And you should do the same right now. If you have 15 minutes in any part of your day, take it, go outside, be thankful for what you have and what's around you. Whatever you're going through in life, I know there's a lot of times it can seem impossible to have a happy ending, but you will get there. Just keep on keeping on and it'll get better. We can manage anything that gets thrown our way. Our minds are very powerful and strong and we have the tools and resources to be able to cope with whatever life throws at us. So thank you guys again. I will hope you have a wonderful day. Take some time for yourself and love yourself and enjoy this view.